an unlucky man. I can see right away there's a lot fewer people on the beach. It's nowhere near as busy as it was a few months ago in high season. Here's where you want to chill at the end of the pier. Is Wahin becoming more Patia-like? The original walking beer street from back in the day? This is all there was. It just goes on and on, as you can see. Welcome to Wahin's Tree Town. The patty occasion of Wahin. Again, this is an expat area versus a tourist area, and it's doing all right, isn't it? Betty Burry Rams got a pack in a minute. Include, include pool table. Hey, hon, let's move from patty and start fresh in Wahin. <laughs> let's go. Okay, the same we saw. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Next, let's have a look around Mintaba, the Bar Street, and a couple others. The famous Wahin sign, or Hua Hin, as some like to say. Hua! Hua! Okay, this brand Wahin. Say again. Wahin. Thank you. Up to you. Same, same, but different. Still. Absolutely rammed here. Okay, right. We're off to Bintabot and other bar streets. In fact, we're gonna hit them all. <laughs> because I've got a burning question for you all. The burning question I have for you is, is Wahin becoming more Patia-like? I'm not talking go-go -go bars, etc. obviously, but I'm talking just all the bar beers. There are so many, as we'll see. So we'll have a look at that. It used to be that this area we're heading to now, in the old town, was sort of a one-bar street. But man, it's spread out since then, as we'll see. There's Punsak. This used to be a quiet little neighborhood. Now it's mostly massage places, as you can see. And then the bars began. So what we'll do is we'll go down here, park up, and then we'll have a look around. There was back in the day when I lived here 20 years ago, there was maybe three bars on this street. And now it's bar, 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 bar. No name, Buckley's. Limelight's been here forever and ever. I think a guy named Taxi Jack used to own that or he started that. That's Murphy's there. What we'll do is we'll park up and then we'll walk around the horn. Yeah. Mariah's restaurant, good food there. Always popular. Back in the main drag here. I don't know if we're in a different vid now or not, but if you missed it, we did a, a look at this main strip before. Right, let's park up. Okay, well, we're past the dinner hour, so it's pretty quiet. Okay, here we are, Bin Dubai. What do you got? Original walking beer street from back in the day. This was all there was. Once upon a time. It's pretty quiet tonight. Maybe what we'll do, we'll walk up to the end a bit about it and then we'll come back. Go right around the horn, why not? Red bar looks happening. 
Always good to have a band. Pink Panther got some paws on seats. Honey bar. Have a quick look here. Oh, this music's gonna get me a copyright strike. Okay, thank you. Too bad they don't have any music on here. <laughs> Someone get that joke. Hello. Thank you. Okay, thank you. It's pretty quiet up this end, to be fair. Vindeberger, one of the millions served. Oh, no, under a million sold still. Well, it looks pretty quiet all over, but this end's even quieter. It's still dog days of low season. U turn bar. Hi. What do you got? Canadian guy named Craig used to own that back in the day. What do you got? This place usually has a band. Vindabot. <laughs> oh, ACDC going on there? Fafa bar, no faffing around here. <laughs> Come here. Carrying on quickly. <laughs> this Bistro Grumman looks popular. Continuing on, happy hour, 60 baht. Beach clubs, Punsak. Body cap. Very convivial. Come cup. Fantastic. All day, all night. Thank you. Around the corn here. Oh. As you can see, it's just so many bars. Couldn't possibly ever fill them all. And this is just the beginning, believe me, as we'll see tonight. So this is the original bar area from back in the day, but nowadays it just goes on and on and on, way out 102, up, heck, up 112. Borfi, Tipawan, uh, 80, 94, of course, and we'll be seeing those soon. Good. Cats, kids, all sorts going on here. <laughs> Bar. I'm love. I'm fine. Thank you. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello, candy bar and Panama. Play something I go on. That place usually packs them in. Around midnight, that place will fill up. Hey, 
Went right around the horn, back to the red bar. I'm always convivial here. Good time having by all. Okay, so that was a look at the original Bar Street, Bintaba. What a cop. Hey, while we're here, let's pop into the Hilton. One customer there. The Hilton actually has a pretty decent happy hour, believe it or not. Katie bought for a beer. Not bad, yeah? Okay, again, it's pretty early, but let's have a look. Okay, that was the hill, huh? Again, a bit early, but get the idea. That dim sum, 780, it seems like it seems expensive, but it's top quality and top floor too of the Hilton. And the view is unbelievable. Check out that old beamer there. Beautiful, yeah? In fact, there's a whole bunch of beamers here. BM, 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 BM. <laughs> Got a BM convention here. Look at this beauty here. Wow. I think I just found the best ones right here. Absolutely original. Actually, let's see if we can go up and have a look at the view. Top floor, please. 17th floor. Top floor. I don't know if it's still open or not. Let's see if we can go outside here. If you haven't been, this is a nice place to come up for a drink. And the old town. The line has gotten so spread out. You can see all the way down to Shaan here in the lights. And sadly, the disappearing pier guest houses. Look back in the previous video for more on that. All right, let's have a look at the other side. This is a white lotus, by the way. Hey, nobody on this side. So, Wahian used to consist of just the old town by the pier. In the top of the screen, that's Soy 112 area. And Wahian just continues to spread out. Kind of get the scope of how Hawaiian has expanded. Okay, where did I leave my ride? Still people about. <laughs> and we're off. I think we'll head back up Selakam. A few more people about now because it's a bit later. We'll see on this street it's always usually quiet. Yep, pretty quiet. Again, just so many bars. See you later, Soy Bintabot. Okay, we'll take a right here and what's happening at Father Ted's? The old Father Ted's? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah, it's good. 
Pretty good crowd for a Saturday, as they say. Yeah. Important bits. Draft beer, Leo, 75. Giant, 70 for the small ones. Guinness half pint, 145, pint 265. There you go, they can Bangkok Beatles play here. Sunny Rose, 320, not bad. Really bad. Emerald. Petey's Bar and the Green Onion. Okay, we'll take a left here. And just up the street is the first expansion of the, sort of the pattyification of Hawaii and Soy 80. Soy 80 was created after Bintabot. Anyways, there we go, Soy 80. Nina. Nanny Bar. Friend Bar. Vortex. White House Beach Girl, Satan's Girl, Country Bar, Blue Bar, Sea Bar, Night Owl Bar. Nice little eatery there. Nana Bar. You at his dress sellers. A few punters about. Euro Bar. May Bar. Tattoos. DJ Bar. A new bar. <laughs> Joe's Bar. Sweet Bar. Friend another friendly bar. So we got a, got a few bums and seats here. Jim's bar. No gym, actually. Whole house bar. Pretty good crowd for a Saturday in the Wahin bar. Hello. <laughs> it just goes on and on, as you can see. Angie's Bistro, Chicky Bar. Paragon. Dandy bar, darty bar? My bar. Can you imagine if that was your bar? Where's your bar? You mean my bar? Remember bar, there's another one. Don't forget that. Okay, <laughs> that was Soy 80. And here we are at the new train station. If you missed my bid about taking a bus versus a train to Bangkok, which was fastest, I'll link it. You might be surprised, but who won? And here we got a brand new four lane blacktop, all part of the new railway station. Four lane blacktop will run down to Market Village and Blueport eventually. Next, we're gonna go to a quiet little imbibing place just around the corner here, just over the tracks. BKP for short, or Bangkum Por. It's sort of like Wahin's version of Patia's tree town. I'll show you. We'll just drive right in here. Welcome to Wahin's tree town. You don't often see tourists here. It's mostly local expats and their TLAX and locals. All right, let's park up and have a look. Have a look. Ferris wheel, just the beginning of the fun. <laughs> really great food here. Really can't beat the prices. 
free entertainment? What's not to like? <laughs> there you go, your various meat on a stick, 10 baht. Forty baht, fifty baht, sixty baht. Chang, 40 baht, can you believe that? Huh. 40 baht, I can't believe it. So much good food here. All right? What do you have? That's what I want. Chicken quesadilla. Oh god. Caprese avocado. Tip. Uh, tini. Thank you. on the right, 80 baht. Chicken quesadilla, 90 baht. Beer, 40 baht. So let's see. Feta cheese, balsamic vinegar, avocado. Off the hook, good. The quesadilla, nice and cheesy. Love it. Awesome. Cheap rub and grog. Free entertainment. What's not to like? fantastic venue away from the tourist strip, pop up here to Bangkok Port.
Okay, next up, 94 and more. See you later, Ban Kung Po. We'll carefully try to turn right here. There we go. Instead of going straight to 94, we'll take a right because there's several more bars. That's right, along here. Actually, a couple of good ones too, like Woodstock on the left up here. Usually has a good band, let's see. Stock. There's some good food here too, by the way. <laughs> Not to be outdone, the monkey duck. And a banana bar, a windmill. Different windmill. <laughs> Not the same as Patia. You know, speaking of the windmill, et cetera, there's no way that Wahin is ever gonna go down that road. So, thank goodness, some would say. There's Beaver's Bar. Now we've got uh, Bar 5 and Little Saigon. That's appropriate because Bar 5 in Saigon is one of the most popular bars there is in Ho Chi Minh City. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. What do we have going on here? You've got a whole bunch of bars here. Knees Bar, Cheers Bar, Santa's Bar. Oh, look, pretty hopping. To my left, Hanoi. Quite a few people in the Vietnamese Square here, too. All busy around here. Look at this. Looks like a party of some sort. Cheers have quite a few people as well. Look at that. Yep. Again, this is an expat area versus a tourist area, and it's doing all right, isn't it? Moon Bar, it's a double N. And on my left, Le Pub. No relation to uh, Le Pub in Patsy, I don't believe. And you see they've got Jack Daniels, ribs, tandoori chicken, all sorts. They do a good Sunday roast, I know that. In fact, I'll put up the one I had up on the screen for you. There you go, Sunday roast, $1.99 for a small chicken, $2.39 for a pork, $2.99 for beef. And that, folks, is a small beef. <laughs> you should see the large one. Proper Yorkshire pudding. Let's see. We got a band rocking all over the world. What's all going on here? Right across the street is Nana Sunshine and Fame. Usually has a good band as well. Let's see. <laughs> we just heard the guy who sings do their top. We're doing a pretty good job, actually. Carrying on, break and run. Usually I've got a fairly good crowd in here as well. Good tables, sports. Who <laughs> next? Soy 94, it just keeps going. Okay, we were at the intersection of 94, Pizza Garden, just directly across from us. Atmosphere on the kitty corner there. Always someone sat at that corner table. Great people watching spot. We'll go up the top here and then back down. Family restaurant, moonshine. 
good time having my all. Hand holders. Hand holding has become a big deal in Hawaii. And I always thought it's sort of a patia thing, like, she's mine. I mean, maybe not. Maybe they're just romantics. <laughs> Anyways, Blue Box. This place has become quite popular. Quite a nice little place there. And Cocktails and Dreams right next door, a filthy playa. Connection looks fairly well connected. Betty Burry Rum's got a pack in a minute. Clips all, it's got a few. Monet Explored Barn. Initial hotel residence. Again, swill for choice when it comes to accommodation too. This is a great place if you like to walk to all the action here in 94. Here we are at the top of the soy. I could go on, and it does go on and on, even up to, I could go all the way to Borify and up 112 and all sorts. But we'll turn around here and take you to the bottom of 94. Again, past the tree bar. Some aging teenagers there having a good time. Past the blue box again, on our left, Star Bar. Happy Pig. Past the dinner hour now, so. And now we'll go down to the bottom half of 94. Wild Hawks. Firehouse can get quite popular sometimes. I haven't been in there, but I hear it's good eats. Well, that's a nice ride. Original Willie's right there, beautifully restored. Here's another nice ride. Check that out, that's the way to get around. The only thing about those things, they're a little bit top heavy. But for 30 grand or so, thousand dollars, not bad. Home bar. Vinterburger, they branched out. It's still under a million sold. That local Thai restaurant is very good right there. Ola bar. Knock Knock 94, Gourmet Pizzas. Another friendly bar, is that, what's that, three on the street? Hot Pan. Molly's Bar, Rad Bar. Blah, 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 life goes on. And of course, Wonderland. Must be all done, Head Rock. I guess we should take a quick walk through. See if I can find a place to park up here. Look up at the old 7. All right, let's have a look. The 7 Eleven corner is always jumping. Head Rock. Beer prices are pretty good, 70 baht, not bad. I like this little honky tonk here, Rad Bar, that's all right. I think a lot of these are just hobby bars for expats, I'm not sure. So this Wonderland, again, it's like another patia extension. The patiacation of Wahin. I got some bums on seats so. though. It's all right for a, for a low season, I guess. Okay, escaping copyright music. <laughs> And that's the bottom of 94. Okay, I've got one more stop, maybe two. Yeah, I like that guy's wig. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of difference between, say, Soy 7 and Patia, these are beer areas, or Otop in Phuket. <laughs> the yellow bus, this place is quite good too. Another friendly bar. Bend on here too. And here we are 
are at STL's favorite little watering hole, the Rock Zone. I don't know if there's a seat in a place. <laughs> and beside the Rock Zone, Chong Jam. This is a Thai place right here. It's Aircon, it's massive. Good tunes. Okay, let's see if we can park up and get a seat in there. Maybe we'll try to get in the Chom Jam. We'll see. Before we go, let's just have a look inside this little complex here. I've never been in here. All right, let's go and have a look. What's it called? Maldives. Mal Maldives. Well, this is a Maldives. <laughs> so this name Marigold, yeah? Marigold. Bar for sale? How much? 200. Include include pool table? Oh, so you fancy a bar at Malibu? <laughs> Fill your boots. Feel like becoming a millionaire in Thailand? Buy a bar, just bring 10 million and leave when you still got a million. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at the end of the soy here. See all the bar, 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 bar. Stony bar, lucky bar, jungle bar, fawn fawn bar, tiger bar, on and on. Hey hon, let's move from Patty and start fresh in Huayen. <laughs> so comments below. Is Wah Hin seeing a bit of Patty occasion? <laughs> As in California occasion? Comment below. Thanks. I think I know a little place where we might be able to get a belated sundowner. So, stick with me. Okay, back over the tracks at Pet Gaysom here. Ogan. This is a, always a popular restaurant. It's a little bit past the dinner hour now. This German schnitzel is always popular. And Pat's. Pat's place. Fish and chips. Proper tartar sauce, mushy peas and everything. Even a lemon. Anyways, Pat's. Good food. And the ubiquitous massage places at the very end of 94 here. Bar right at the top there. Storm's bar is it called? I'm not sure, but but I've got more of a beachy bar in mind. Back up at Kesum. Market Village is all done for the night. Hey, just buy tops again. Gonna do a Yui. Pass Market Village again. The crew cup. Kun bai Yutina? Kun bai Trong Bong. Chai cup. Om Trong bai cup. Mong mai mi motorcycle. Okay cup? Sure? Okay cup. Okay. Gentleman needs a ride. Kung Gao Si Pi. You're 90 years old. Oh my god. Tinia? It's okay. No, it's okay. Okay. You give somebody else. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very thank you. Chokti kap kun pi. Bye kap. Kap kap. Our quad Chokti kap kun pi. Shaja. Hey, nice chap. <laughs> he wanted to be dropped off at that restaurant slash bar and asked me if I wanted to come in for a, a drink and I said no, I got to drive. But thanks. <laughs> We're going almost opposite where I dropped him off. I had to do a U-turn to get there, but so 85. Just look for the red pig. <laughs> Hopefully it's still open. Maybe. 
Well, it may not look like much to the viewer, but to me, hippie bar here looks just fine. <laughs> and you're wondering if I'm making fun of the name. I'm not, it is the name. There we go, hippie bar. So what the crap? <laughs> Me uh, Sambuka. Oh, happy. A Gao Nam King. This is an STL approved bar. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a seat down here. I'm sure I can make one. There, see, I told you I got a seat. Popcorn crop. Hippie bar. I say happy bar. Fantastic spot, yeah? <laughs> right, well, I think I'm going to call it a night and a vid. So I hope you enjoyed coming along. See you in the next one. Good night from the Hippie Bar in Hawaii. <laughs>